But first of all, to your leadership, to Lonnie, to Kenny, thank you. You know, we just went through an election cycle that was what I call the first step of a correction. We set a lot of family business. We got a lot of new friends. In fact, they're over there today on the House picking, picking their leadership. But the amazing thing is, as you grew up, you went through your apprenticeship, that's the same thing I did. I remember sitting out in the audience. But today, you have something that is probably the most effective tool that anybody coming to the Hill has. You've lived it. You have gray hair. You have no hair. You understand how close retirement is and how important that is. You know, they send the lobbyists up. We see them all the time. It's different when you come up and say, that's my pension. Nobody gave it to us. We earned it. You deferred those wages, or as I said, you deferred those dreams. You could have used that money to send the kids away to camp, go on another vacation, but you knew how important it was for a pension so that when you reach your golden years that you were going to have something to retire. So they put together this great super committee, great intentions, working well, taking committee hearings literally across the country until that last moment when they rolled out what you saw before you and what you'll hear about in a few moments. Changing the way that we do it. You know, we have a couple plans in this country that are in severe trouble. And we understand that. And we want to help them as a country. But we can't pay for it out of our pockets. We all play by the same set of rules. We all need to get there together. But you can't go and try to change the system we're in. If it had passed what they proposed, it would put, if you were in a green zone, you would be in a yellow zone, and in some cases, go into a red zone. Your PBGC premiums would almost quadruple. And what did you get out of it? Nothing. So today, when you go up to the Hill, remind them, we are those people that helped elect you, that brought you to the majority, and remind them especially when you go to see our colleagues on the other side, the Republicans will remind them, if they had been with us, we would have helped them also. But the fact of the matter, they didn't. So when you go up there, just remind them, it's our voice. Now, and also remind them that we bailed out Wall Street, trillions of dollars. We just gave $1.3 trillion away in that tax scam. But you can't save our pensions? Come on, folks. How about some some fairness in this world. So I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you've done to help elect the voices of working people. We now have the majority. I'm on the committee instead of called labor and the workforce, excuse me, education and workforce are now going to bring back that L word. It's called labor. And I'm proud to be there for you. Thank you very much.